Hello everyone, I am going to show you this nifty extension that I've been learning about called Revision History. Now I've kind of seen uh, a uh, extension like this before called Draftback, but this is even more, I think, cooler. Let me show you what it's all about. So I'm just in my personal drive here and I have a document. Now this document was created um, a while back and I've added to it along the way so you can see how powerful revision history is. So I'm sim I've already added the extension, kind of hard to see with my black background, but it's up here and I don't need to do anything with it because it just does its magic on its own. So let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and open up this document. And you can see the banner has been loaded across the top and it shows some things that revision history tells you about. It talks about deletions and you can hover over each one of these question marks to get the text in there. Large copy paste, how many writing sessions and my active writing time. Now, if you don't want to have this, you can always hide it, but I want to show you the details and what the side col sidebar column shows. So I'm going to click the details and you can see that you can the copy pasted segments and I know these were big pasted copy pasted segments because these are, are the information that I uh, typed on the ISTE uh, sheet of, of what my sessions were all about and I always just make a copy on a, on a Google Doc so I could see all of that. And then you can see these writing sessions down here. How cool is that? So I started the document back in February and you can see every writing session of how much time I spent on it. So sometimes I spend a long time. Other times maybe I was just making a quick uh, edit on something here and it even went all the way up until today. Now the final thing that revision history can show you is a drafting process replay. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and then down here at the bottom press play and you are going to watch my document being created. So how I'm typing it in, you know, back and forth, what did I change, all this kind of stuff. It's playing at 1x right now. What if I change it to faster? or even slower. So revision history, a great little extension that you can add on, works with Google Docs, works on docs that were created or brand new ones, works on docs that were created through Google Classroom if you use that, and only the teachers need to have this installed. So your students don't need to worry about this at all, having this, it just automatically works with any Google Docs document. Hope you enjoyed learning about Revision History Chrome Extension.